Join us in today's episode for a wander around Rye in East Sussex. It's definitely one of the prettiest towns in England with cobble streets all steeped in history. There's something to look at around every corner and it's so nice to enjoy a pot of tea. We also had to visit Lamb House where the famous author Henry James lived for 18 years. It's a beautiful Georgian house with the loveliest garden. from Rye in East Sussex. Hello, and Rye is supposed to be one of the prettiest towns in England. It is beautiful. We are totally enchanted. And on our list now is Lamb House. Yeah, that's where Henry James lived. Yes, the famous American-born British novelist. He, for example, he wrote Portrait of a Lady, which always reminds me of Notting Hill. Yeah, and I think he actually rode a ton of his crew here. Yes, he did. And it's a beautiful Georgian house. We just walked past it and yeah, we thought we just have to have a look and film it. Yeah, so, so let's see. Let's go there. Well, first, let's just walk around the churchyard and write a little because it's so utterly charming. This is it, Lamb House, and it belongs to the National Trust.
we really enjoyed this. It yeah. was amazing. The garden was just beautiful. Yes, I think, although you're in the middle of Rye, it felt so peaceful. Yeah, it's like, Saturday and it's quiet. Yes, so, so quiet. So we can really recommend this place. And next up is St. Mary's Church. You can go to the top and I think the view will be amazing. I think it's very windy outside, Jörg. Seems so, yeah. It's very windy today, but I think it's so worth coming up here. You have such a gorgeous view. Windswept, Jörg. Yeah. I've blown away. Yeah, nearly. So we stopped for a quick bite here at the cobble stew. Yeah. What are you um, having, Jörg? Yeah. Crumpets. Crumpets with butter and marmite. Yes. And I'm having gluten-free cream tea, which means two gluten-free scones, clotted cream and jam. It's good. Very nice gluten free scone. So there is this pub called Ypres Castle yep. and I just spotted Rothaus. Yeah. So they might have we'll see. which is Jörg's favourite beer. We won't be going there but I just spotted I it. I would like to check it out. Really? Sure. Let's have a look. <laughs> Rothaus, Badische Staatsbrauerei, which is in the Black Forest. So you couldn't see if they have a no. uh, Tannenzäpfle and well we, we don't want to go there now but you know what if there is a sign they should have it.
We are heading to the beach now. Yes, and as you can see, you can easily spend all day in Rye. So there is this hut with a, I think the roof is red. Uh, yep. <laughs> there is your hut, Jan. Yeah. So do you think it's worth going there? Yep, it is. <laughs> it's beautiful, but the hut is tiny. So the hut. So the hut used to be, or still is, I don't know. There's a sign. There is a sign, so we'll check it out. So we read that this hut is from the early 1900s and it appears to have been used to store fishing and shrimping equipment. This is a huge nature reserve and it's absolutely beautiful and I think you can walk for hours and hours. What a nice day. You're too dark. I'm yeah. too dark? Yeah. Check us out. We are both so wet sweat. Yeah, it's bad hair day now. We hope you enjoyed our Rye video. We can only say it's a wonderful place. Yeah, it's worth a visit. Definitely. And it's been our, on our wish list for some years and we're so glad we came. And it won't be our last time because no. there's so many places around Rye, near Rye, that we need to see. So, um, And we'll have to come again. Yes. So stay tuned for more. We will be back for more videos and we'll see you again very soon. Yeah. So until next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.